Now we've seen we can draw demand curves using the information in the table. And we also saw that the information in the table adhered to the law of demand. Increase in price leads to a decrease in quantity demanded. And we also drew demand curves based on the information in the table. In economics we use diagrams, graphs, quite a lot. For us it's a, a shorthand way of transferring information. But we're not going to draw a demand curve based on the table every time. We're going to use draw demand curves and what is important as long as what we draw as long as that adheres to the law of demand then we're safe. I'll show you how I, I draw a demand curve and I use basically a three-step approach. Start off with the axis Vertical, horizontal, name the axis, price and quantity. <coughs> I know the demand curve slopes downwards from left to right. So there's my demand curve, and I name it. Does it adhere to the law of demand? Let's see. Let's start at the price, say at this price. And we add this quantity. Now there's a decrease in price, say to P1. What happens to when they demand it? Yes, it increased. Decrease in price led to an increase in quantity demanded. So yes, it adheres to the law of demand. So this demand curve, perfect. And this one? Is this okay? Let's see. Let's start at the price P1. And now there's an increase in price side to P2. What has happened to quantity demanded? Well, we were at this level and now we at this level. The increase in price led to a decrease in quantity demanded. Again, this demand curve I drew adheres to the law of demand. As I've said, we use diagrams quite a lot in economics and the only way that you can get comfortable with the drawing of diagrams is to practice it. Take a pen and piece of paper and draw. Demand curves, demand curves. We're going over to supply curve. Practice it. When we come to market, again, if you watch the videos, practice it. Pen and paper.